Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Conditionals 2 for part 1 of module 1. First problem is check age. So write a function called check age. Given a person's name and age, check age returns one of two messages. Go home, insert name, uh, and it looks like they want a comma and an exclamation point if they are younger than 21. Uh, welcome, first name if they are 21 or older. Naturally, naturally replace insert name with a given name. And then here's an example of that running. So, get rid of this. And let's write a little bit of pseudocode. We'll say if age is greater or equal to 21. I'm going to grab this message exactly and put it here. Actually, we won't do that. Say, uh, we'll say, hmm, yeah, we'll grab it. So we want to tell them, welcome. And we'll just put that there. And that's not technically pseudocode, but it's, it's a gist, and that's okay. So else or otherwise, we want go home in this fashion. So instead of insert name here, it'll be the name, and it will check the age the same way we did for a couple of the original conditionals from conditionals one. So we'll say if age is greater than or equal to 21, we want to return some kind of a message. Else, we're going to return the other message. So one thing you can do is you can actually just paste this in here like this. I'm going to grab this part right here, and I'm going to hit quotes. And because this doesn't work the same way as the other one I was working on, we're going to need to do a little bit of fussing with it, which is okay. So what we'll do is we'll end the first part of the string, welcome, there, hit plus, and then we're going to add the rest of the string afterwards. So now all we have here is insert name here. This is the first part of the string that we're going to interpolate, which basically just means add there's also string concatenation. Interpolation, I think, has to do with inserting the value of a variable into a string. Um, so we're going to concatenate and interpolate, and if there are any other big words we can use, we'll probably come up with those later. But for this point, we probably just want to say name. So welcome, name. And then for this one, we're going to do something very similar. We're going to grab this message. This would be where we're going to interpolate the value of a variable. So we'll hit plus there. Here's the end of the interpolation, so we'll hit plus there. Throw a little semicolon here, another little semicolon there. We replace this entire thing with curly braces with name, and that should be it. Excellent. Also, we'll hold that just for a moment so everybody can see. If age is greater than or equal to 21, return welcome, comma, space, plus name, and no spaces around the name, plus the exclamation point. Same thing for go home and the name for that. So is greater than 10? We've got a num. We need to return whether that number is greater than 10. So if you recall the module 0 beta content, we can just say return num greater than 10. And that's going to get the job done for us. However, we can also absolutely put an if statement here. So if num is greater than 10, return true. If you're having trouble with else statements or if else statements and you haven't written some of them before, I would highly advise doing this version rather than just return num greater than 10. They do the same thing. Why do I have to do that? You don't have to, but eventually during the interview, you're going to be testing on your ability to write code. You're going to be thinking at the same time. It's going to be nerve wracking. The faster and more automatic your creation of if else statements is, the better time you're going to have on the interview. So run test. That works as well. Less than 30. Let's not even mess with the expression this time. We're just going to write our if statement. So if less than 30, else not less than 30. So we'll say num less than 30. In that case, we're going to return true, or the actual spelling of true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. And we're cooking. Equals 10. So we've been using a lot of operators. We use the less than operator here, uh, the greater than operator here. Now we're going to use the equality operator. There are two. I would highly suggest that in all cases uh, you use triple equals. Triple equals does something called strict equality, and we're not really going to go into that very much. I don't think it's super useful. So just for now, keep in mind, triple equals is your best bet. So we'll say if the input number triple equals 10, then we want to return true, else return false. Excellent. So 
Thanks for watching that video. I uh, hope you guys are having a good time, and we'll see you in the next one.